This is basically part two to a video that I made, and uh, this one is going to have sound in it on how to build a stairway in SketchUp. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to do is open up SketchUp, hit the rectangle box, put a rectangle here, and then go down to the measurement box. Now I'm just going to go ahead and type in 11 inches comma and then three foot enter and then that's going to give me an 11 inch step 11 inch step I'm going to go ahead and tilt this at a little angle zoom in now I'm going to grab the push and pull button or push the letter P on my keyboard raise this up and I'm going to type in 7.5 inches enter and then that gives me a tread. Now this is actually the step. This right here is a step that uh, will represent the rise and the tread depth. Here's the riser height and here's the tread depth. You can adjust this to whatever you need. If you have a 10 inch tread or a six inch riser, simply create a box that's going to be six inches tall and uh, 10 inches deep and I made it three foot wide it's three foot wide um, if your stairway is going to be four foot wide simply make it four foot wide um, I'm going to um, scroll over it and again what I did there was just kind of I held down on the left side of the mouse and drug it over and that's how you can also do this simply by double clicking the object um, that was double clicking. I'm going to triple click it. One, two, three. And that'll highlight it also. Now that it's grouped, I can grab it. I'm going to push M on my keyboard. Or I have been doing this for so long, I don't even know where move is. Here's move right here. Grab the corner. I'm going to push the control key. And that's going to give me another box. Now that I have two, um, I'm going to simply type in four. You can see it down here in the corner. I just typed the, the number four and I'm going to push X. Okay, I need four X in here. Let's go back. Four X and I'm going to push enter. And this provides me with the other steps. If I need more steps, I can put 10 X in here. I'm going to go back to the clicker here. And uh, this gives me a one, two, three, four step stairway. Now, if I want to make this a landing with a four step stairway, I simply push the P button and I can make this a landing here. I'm going to go back. Now, to do this, I'm going to grab the line tool and then connect this. And you can see that it's connected that right there. Once I connect this to here, it's going to fill in the back also. So there's our stairway. Um, now I'm going to grab the eraser tool right here and simply drag it down. Now I actually have to hold, if I just move it, nothing's going to happen. I have to hold the left key down or the left, yeah, the left key on the mouse. So I'm dragging it. And this would be the button. I'm just trying to conf not make sure I'm not, I'm not confusing myself here. And then, and for those of you who are wondering how I'm moving this, I have a mouse with a wheel on it. And I simply push down on the wheel and move it like this. I can move it with the mouse. So I have a mouse again with a center wheel. And when I turn the wheel uh, in one direction, it will bring the um, object in or out uh, a little closer or a little further away. So I am left clicking, pushing the left click down, dragging, and then that gets rid of the lines. I'm going to go ahead and move the stairway since it looks like there's a line here. So I'm going to triple click it, push the letter M on my mouse or select the arrow here and move it out of the way so we can see it. So this is how you build a stairway. If I want to change the color on it, I will simply go to the color, click on it, 
drag it over and then that would be one at a time. I'm going to have to triple click it and highlight the whole thing and then push it once and then that is the color of the stairway. If I want to just have a, um, if I want to have um, red treads, I can just simply color each one of the treads red. And if I want to change the risers, I can change those also. And I am simply pushing the bucket up against the object or the um, plane, let's say, that I want to um, decorate with the bucket and um, left click. So I'm going to left click right now, highlighted the area, left click the tread, and there's that one. So that's how you can color your stairway. Don't forget that they have wood colors in here. This is what I use a lot in my stairway drawings. I'm going to drag a square over here, highlight the area and change it all to this. That is how it is done. If I want to make a stringer, I've already done this for those of you who know what uh, stringers, I'm going to go ahead and just color this right here. Oops, triple click it color it and now to make a stringer all I need to do is use the push and pull button and simply push it to make the stringer that I want and that is your stringer I want to copy it I'll simply highlight the stringer again we can triple click on it I'm going to I'm going to push the move use the move tool and I'm going to grab it and I am going to left click down on it and I can start to drag it away and all I got to do is push the control button. Control, control button on my keyboard and again I can push three. Let's take a look at it down here. I put, I'm going to push three X. Apparently I have to type this in at the same time. So let's go just put in three X and then I'm going to push enter and that gives me four equally spaced stringers. So anyway, I hope it was helpful. Sorry about uh, making the video before. And I am definitely getting better at my videos. And uh, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button if you like this video.